Hi, it's Mary from Reviewer's Diary. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up actually helps me quite a, quite a bit. So, I have a bag of stuff. <laughs> There's my husband's name. I have a bag of stuff for my daughter. I've been gathering things for her that I think she might like, I know she would like, and things that she might not like. So I'm going to let her choose out of this bag what she wants to keep. And I'm pretty much thinking it'll be most of it. Okay, so although she declutters her stuff into my drawers and I declutter my stuff into her drawers, and vice versa is not a good idea. <laughs> Her friends are tired of getting stuff too. They're like, oh, everyone's overloaded. Anyway, this is a very nice brush, very dense, really beautiful, but I have a brush very similar. So I am going to offer this to my daughter and if she wants it, she'll take it. Oh, I'm going to give her a snail goo back. She gave me this little thing and I, I can't, no. Nope. <laughs> um, I got this callus cream from Marshalls. We each got it. She really loved it. I don't have calluses anymore since I had my foot surgery for some reason. I don't know why. I don't walk around the house barefoot. That might be one of the reasons why, but um, the only thing they get is sometimes they get a little dry, so I put lotion on. I don't really need anything for calluses now. And if I do, I will just buy another tube, but I don't see that becoming an issue. <clears throat> That's an unopened, unopened one. Makeup first. I got a bag out. And I think I put makeup in here. Yes. Oh, she's not going to want this. Oh, this was supposed to go to the Goodwill bag. They're not going to take eyelashes. I don't know. Okay, so anyway. This is a self-tanner. Sunless tan tanning lotion. She's not going to use this. She's paler than I am. She's just not going to use this. Um, it's old. I should really declutter it because it's really, really old. It's got a date on it. And it's really, really outdated, so that's going to go. These eyelashes, they came in a box. I think eyelashes are, are a crazy thing to give in a box because they're very individual. I don't have lashes on now. I sometimes will put on a lash, but yeah, it's these are awfully thick. They're just too much lash for me, so I've just been getting ready to give this away. I don't know if my daughter has a friend who wears lashes, but I'm going to give her these lashes. Um, and I, I don't know. I guess they're very expensive. I don't know. Um, this is a mascara that I just talked about in my declutter. Um, I use this twice. I don't like the brush. It's got a weird bulbous end to the brush. I guess it's supposed to help like with the little lashy things, but I just really don't like it. It's Ico, and since I have a drawer full of mascara, don't think I should use that. Okay, the rest of the stuff is little weird stuff. Oh, this I'm offering to her and she's probably not going to take it. I wanted this brush in the weirdest way. It's an e.l.f. blending brush. Like you can blend your powder off and it's a nice brush that I never even took out of the package. I got this in trade on um, when I was trading. It was on the My Subscription Addiction trade. I don't trade anymore. Um, it was just too much trouble. I got an, I have enough stuff, so I don't need to trade anything. Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, I, her brushes, some of them I'm giving back to her. I already have this brush. 
this she will like. This is not not old. This is from Burt's Bees. It does not have a good delivery system. It's a really nice moisturizing tinted lip balm type product. But you have to use your fingers or a brush to put it on. It did not come with, you can see it, how much of it I used. I used it that much. Um, it just has a flat top. If they just put a little wedgie shaped top on it, I would love it, but I don't love it enough to struggle to put it on, so just will like that. I have this native deodorant. Um, just might try that. I think she'll like that. Um, this is Oribe. Why do I feel like I've already done this? <laughs> this is an Oribe texturizing spray. I just don't, I don't like it. I have this item, Fast Pass Natural. Oh God, it's for, anyway, it's for oily skin. And her friend has very oily skin. So I mean like breakout and everything. Um, so I'm thinking that this would be good for her friend. There's another thing in here called Light Sauce. It's also for oily skin. I have this CBD eye cure cream. I This and I never got along. So I'm giving it to my daughter. I am giving my daughter this Dose & Co. I think it's collagen. Yes, it is. It's something you add to your coffee or a glass of water and uh, it's supposed to make your skin better. Uh, it's been sitting and I'm just not using it, so I'm going to give it to her. I think she's interested in it. Okay, I have two of these David's toothpastes. I don't tolerate really strong mint any longer. Um, it, it might be age, who knows, but this is a, a little bit mintier than... I didn't try it yet, but I'm assuming it's a little mintier than the one that I decided to keep. Okay, now they're redoing their bathroom, so they're going to have a new tub. Hmm. Enjoy the bath salts. Oh, and this is hair goop for curly hair uh, to make your hair enjoy its curly nature. <laughs> this I got in a box. It's called Saint and Sinner, but it's not related to um, Kat Von D at all. It's by... Uh, I, can't rem I can't read what the company is. I guess I should. So you know what I'm talking about? Where did I put my glasses? Where did I put my glasses? Um, I always check my head to make sure they're not up there. But yeah, I can't find up. Oh, there they are. They blend in with everything. See, that's a problem. Okay, um, this is by Divine. No, it's Divine Supernatural. Shit. It's cruelty free. It's by a company called Real Saints and Sinners. Unusual, unfortunate name. Anyway, this dry shampoo, um, I have allergies to some scents, and this has a scent in it that makes me sneeze my head off and have to jump in the shower and wash my hair. So um, I think she could give it a try. If it's too much for her, then she can give it to a friend or throw it out. Yep. A decluttered makeup. Um, I saved it and then I was like, wait, why am I saving that? I'm never going to use it. Um, a lot of brushes that are hers already. Oops. Yeah, I have about six or seven of these hair hair things. Uh, you know, I'm never going to wear them. I, I'm continuously cutting my hair short, so um, I'm never going to wear them. So I'm giving them to her. There are actually like eight of them. Yeah, it's funny. Um, stuff like that came back in a really big way. Okay. What else is in here? Uh, 
Blood Naked CBD something, 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 something. Anyway, it, this is a some kind of a creamer or bath thing. Oh no, what I was afraid of all this time was tearing the bag and I just did. Okay. Uh, giving her this unopened face cleanser from the company that she hates because they're not cruelty free. I don't know if she'll keep this or give it to her friends because she does not like to use non cruelty free stuff. I do sometimes, but um, yeah, I admire her for her commitment to that. So anyway, she will probably give that to one of her friends. And a turmeric eye cream. I did not try this. I did not open it. Uh, it's an awful big box. I'm sure the thing is not that big because it's an eye cream after all. Yeah, it's a little thing. But um, yeah, she does like to use eye cream. And um, I think she'll enjoy this. This has never been opened, so yeah. I have a drawer full of eye cream. That's why I'm not keeping it. Okay. Um, and this is more hair things, hair ties and stuff. That's going to be for her. And the rest of it is just brushes that she gave me that I did, I'm not keeping. Whoops, and there's a lipstick in here, a purple one. Whew. Dirty little secret. I'll put that in the little bag. Um, this is herbivore it's a good oil for her to try this sells at um derm store but anyway i thought that she would enjoy trying that it's just a sample and this is not a sample this is a travel size glossier uh, lip stuff i tried it and i just really didn't like it this is the last thing and it's rosebomb.com which was a cult thing for a while um but yeah i'm gonna give this to her i did not like it so so much for cult crap anyway i hope you enjoyed this video this is kind of disjointed and weird i know um but uh i <laughs> i am getting back into the action and i am trying to make sense. I do have to clean off my vanity and um, that'll be part of my next several videos and also um, I have to get into my blush drawer. I, I can't get into my blush drawer. I can't even get into it. So anyway, I'll tell you what I am going to do is straighten out this vanity. I have um, the little purple, well it's not really little, the purple drawer thing that I've shown you guys uh, half a dozen times that I always kept my makeup in before I became a lunatic. Um, I'm not, I didn't become a beauty guru, I'm just a lunatic. So anyway, um, it has three deep drawers that go way back. And they're currently full of stuff that I have to try. Um, my my top vanity drawer, my everyday makeup drawer, I can't open and close it easily. And this, oh God, that was a yoga mat sent to me by my company. This is <laughs> full of st other stuff. So I am going to come back with my trying all the things series so I can try stuff and if I um, like it, keep it, use it. If I am not crazy about it, offer it to my daughter while there's still life left in the products. You know, it's kind of like this stuff. There still has plenty of life. It's not that old and I just don't need it right now. Um, so anyway, I have to get a new bag and uh, put it together for my daughter. Uh, <laughs> I do have a box. Maybe I could fit it all in. 
So anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary with a declutter bag full of stuff for my daughter. And the bottom of the bag, by the way, just has brushes that she gave me, but I didn't need, so I'm giving them back to her. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will be back. One video that I think I should do soon is my planner lunacy. I got another cousin this year, and I cannot for the life of me figure out what I'm going to do with all the pages that are in it. I should have gotten a date-free one, day-free. I really need the calendar in the front uh, because of all the doctor's appointments and chemo appointments. Um, I just need, uh, I need to be able to, oh, I have my sunscreen sitting here. I have so much crap. Anyway, um, that's why I'm going to resurrect the trying all the things. Um, it was trying all the full size and sample things that I was getting from different beauty boxes. And I'm going to resurrect that series and it's going to be basically your run-of-the-mill basic um, trying all the things. <laughs> I'll hook it up here uh, if I can remember to do that when I edit this video so you can see what it's all about. Me basically giving you first impressions of different products that I've tried. Um, I still have to do another empties video because I've been I've been using up skincare like crazy now that I'm starting to take care of myself again. Um, and that's it. I'll be back with all that. So thanks and have a beautiful evening. Good night.